one of the things that CAT has given me is the, the gift to be around multiple communities that I call home. Seeing people and seeing the, like, the beautiful, incredible way that black folk greet one another. Watching the smiles and laughter shared around the room and you know, just joy and love that's there. And interrogation, not to create some romanticized picture of, of black people gathering. There's wrestling happening out loud. Um, it's gifting me that. I, honestly, one of the, its biggest gifts is um, being in a, an academic and not so academic space with black folks talking generously and rigorously about dance in our lives is a refreshing experience. It is a rejuvenating and necessary experience. I am curious about the ways that a, an idea of the super or the fluid can inform how black dance practitioners can be aware of the fluidity in the bodies, the fluidity in the genders, the fluidity of sexualities, uh, and the fluidity of blackness and understandings of blackness that are in any given room when we're together. Here at CAD in particular, I'm now in a place where I'm really trying to understand the breadth of practices that can be named as African diaspora dance and how um, to reconcile and accept certain gaps in history, um, gaps in scholarship. Some gaps are really useful both as reminders of like discontinuity and loss that is historic and also the impossibility of ever making a coherent, I think, sense out of the present, which is always, the only, you know, which is always in, in flux. Seeing something that is not explained and resisting the urge to explain it or name it definitively is something that I'm busy with in my work and also with this concept of disnegatif and trying to honor a relationship to gaps in meaning or gaps in sense or gaps in history and witness those rather than fill them up, which is why I'm not a historian, because that's what historians do. <laughs> This gathering generates in my body a will to be together, a will to expand my spaces of dancing. I think we need, this is a, an, an amazing possibility for us to exchange, I'd say thank you. We have been talking about new epistemologies, new theories of knowledge. And I think this is a way, what we are doing now, it's a way to change the systems of knowledge. Yes. <laughs>